All right, time for the math. Easy solution here. Discuss some more trigonomic identities and look at the addition and subtraction formulas. Uh, but for this case, we'll use the we'll look at the sine sine uh, formula. So before I showed the cosine. So now we're gonna look at sine of uh, let's say x plus y or at two angles it adding two together. He's gonna do just equal sine x cos y plus and he switch to cos and, and sine cos x times sine y. And if it is similarly, if it's a negative, then you just put a negative here. So negative and negative here. So then to prove this, we'll use uh, my other identities that which I proved in my previous videos. You could have a take a look at them. They're in the info on this video. So basically, we're gonna look at we'll use cosine if we have cosine x plus y this just equals to cos x times cos y minus if it's a plus it's a minus sine x sine y and similarly and then another another identity we're going to use to prove this is if you have something like cos of pi over 2 minus theta this just equals to sine theta See my other video on that as well. And similarly, if you have a sine pi over 2, this is equals to theta, equals to cosine theta. So uh, and in this case also, it's a, well, if you have it, if it's x minus y, then it's, this is going to be positive. Just the way of writing it. So it, negative, if it's a negative here, it's a positive there. If positive is a negative, negative is positive. So now to prove this, we would rewrite, yeah, so well, we will, rewrite this cosine to look something like like this one right here so what I mean by that is we'll get cosine say pi over 2 we'll just write something like this pi over 2 minus x plus y in brackets just so this can equal to sine x plus y because we want to derive it for x plus y and that's that's basically if you if you let this equal to theta then that's just theta so basically, that's, that's this this equation right here. And so now, if we re rewrite this one, write it, let's say, something like cosine pi over 2 minus x, just expand that out, minus y times the negatives out. And then if we consider this angle just separately, so this is an angle, and this is an angle here. So we're subtracting two angles. And if you subtract cosine of two angles, we'll get basically cosine, we'll just use that, formula we just proved put pi over 2 minus x of co and then this is going to be cosine y and then it's going to be positive because if it's a negative it's a positive just from my previous proof and then this one's going to be sine pi over 2 minus x and this is just sine y and then if we use these these two uh, formulas right here these two identities and then this one basically is, is equal to sine x plus y that's basically from the identity we just showed earlier. So sine x plus y. So sine x plus y, this one's just going to equal, then this one right here, this is just equal to sine y. I mean sine x. And then similarly here, this is going to equal to cos x. That's just from the identity. So we'll get sine x cos y plus cos x sine y. So there's a proof. So we just got the addition rule. So this is the, the addition identity. So as we get the subtraction one, we just, let's say, substitute, we'll just substitute um, negative y for y. So we just switch them. So it, then we'll have, let's say, sine x minus y, y is going to equal to sine x cos of this angle, negative y, plus, or this is going to be, let's say, add plus, or subtraction there. And then this one's going to be plus cos x sine of negative y. And yeah, and then we'll use the uh, further, we'll, we'll use a different identity. We'll use, um, if you have sine of negative y, this is an odd function that's going to equal to negative sine y and similarly if you have cos of negative y excuse the other proof on this in my other uh, video this is going to is an even function so this will just be cos y so if we apply these we'll get we'll get something like sine this is going to be x minus y is equal to this is 
sine x cos y, because this is just cos y, and this is going to be negative sine y. And then so we put the negative in front, we'll get cos x sine y. So there you have it. We just proved it here. So this is a subtraction one, subtraction formula. And if you put them all together, you'll get, uh, this is an easy way of writing it, sine x plus or minus y is equal to sine x cos y plus or minus cos x sine y. So there's the sine law and, and similarly the, yeah, and similarly for the cosine addition subtraction rules, we'll get something like this where it's cos plus or minus y, cos x, cos y, this is going to be minus plus. If it's positive, it's negative, if it's negative, it's positive. It's a convenient way of writing two equations in one this, uh, as well for that. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you learned. And uh, we'll use this to do, let's say, derivative of sine x and whatnot. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.